Well, I should tackle this topic. It's kind of a hot iron <laughs> and a thing of contention and a lot of triggers. Um, I have never been uh, the conventional person when it comes to relationship. Um, trauma has prevented me from fully identifying with my earthly role as a woman. And so I have always dissociated myself from that identity. I, f I prefer thinking of myself as a gender neutral person and transact in society as a person rather than a woman. You see, there are so many attachments um, to these roles that society and biology has assigned to us. And with these um, roles come certain expectations. And this realm is completely in the 3D, in the egoic realm, in the karmic realm. Um, it all just deals with conformity, right? And um, following the programming. Now, because of the trauma, because in my family and ancestry, <laughs> being a woman was not a very um, pleasant thing. Actually, it was a negative thing. The women were always abused, either verbally, physically, or sexually. Um, and it just translated to me that, in this simple phrase, that being a woman is bad. So, naturally, my psyche dissociated from it. Now, but I think, now that, now that I healed from that, now that I understand the dynamic of that, um, I'm still not returning to that identity because of what I mentioned. There's so many um, expectations and atta uh, expectations attached to that that we are expected to live up to. And in my life, I don't do anything that uh, is expected of me because that is conformity and people-pleasing. And especially as in Awakened Twin Flame, that's something that, that's a lesson that came to me to learn. So, but how has this helped me? You see, in our identification as a woman or as a man, we're attached to the programming, that subjects us to a lot of triggering. For example, let's take the man-woman relationship. The standard relationship, codependent relationship. A woman is expected to perform and render her services to the man. And the man is expected to render his abilities to the woman to make the relationship work. It's a codependent uh, situationship. And we basically have done things on this, on this um, needs-based um, platform. Neither one can actually be their true self, right? Because to be your true self, you have to be able to let go of the expectations. And if we were to do that, our relationship structure would collapse, our society would collapse. Of course, we can't do that. It's something that we have to grow into gradually. And for that, we have to, of course, heal our trauma to undo the psychological bonds and needs and insecurities. And become everything that we expected uh, society to to meet, 
for us. I'm starting to ramble now. I better wrap it up. So, now that I live as a gender neutral, no role assigned person, I can really explore being me um, outside of all these societal demands. I also don't get triggered about women's issues. Or for if it was a role reversal, I wouldn't get triggered for men's over men's issues. You see, um, a man, for example, gets his entire um, identity from being needed by a woman, um, of being respected, being validated and honored for the work that he does, the, the capa capabilities that he brings to the relationship. You see, but these are certain markers uh, in, the, in the man's world. Um, success is very important to a man's identity, to a man's ego, right? Success and praise and these are all things that every one of us needs and were not necessarily offered and provided in childhood and so now these are these are childhood needs that we're trying to still get met in our adult lives in our relationships and so often our relationships end up with you know man, a man seeking out a, a wife that is like a mother to him because he still needs his emotional needs met and these uh, expectations that come with identifying as the man now you know you can't be a man unless these conditions are met or you're going to be real unhappy or unsatisfied um, this is all baggage this is all baggage that comes with egoic identity and uh, I'm experiencing the beauty of not having uh, the attachment to these expectations. I can just be. I can be whatever I am naturally. I don't have to please anyone. I don't have to fall in line with any standards. And uh, it's just nice. It's just nice. It, um, it sets the world free. It sets me free and it sets the world free from trying to meet my standards because I, I don't have any expectations of the world. I am meeting all my needs within myself and that is what fuels my happiness. Right? I don't need you, I don't need a man to satisfy me and keep me happy with life. I'm so happy in myself. And uh, that's, the, that's the best way to live. You can trust me on that. So anyways, I said a lot. Probably not it was not a whole lot of meaning. But just some rambling thoughts and musics this morning.